<sighs> testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Speak this side. Away, away, away. Away, away, away. Let's get. Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Timothy, and today it's a brand new episode to our brand new series called Deep Waters Podcast. And today we have a very special guest. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Um, it's your boy, Fuller Junior. Back again with the Orange Flame. Bonto, Bonto. Can't see more. Yeah. So today, we're going to be asking Fuller some questions. Yeah. Ne? Yeah. So, first of all, introduce yourself. What do you do, Fuller? Who is um, Fuller? Where do I start, man? There's you a lot that with, I do. You can start with your, your come up, your childhood. Oh, my childhood. Mm. Um... Where do I start? Oh, from my childhood, right? Yeah. It's like, I limpo. Well, boom, ma. Boom, ma. Yeah. Um, my name is Tato Falo. Sure. Um, Chitangoni, that's my vendor name. Mm. Sometimes I don't like using it for some reason, I don't know why. Um, I come from Sushiko. Sure. Balokwani. My dad comes from Venda. 015. Yeah, so, um, my mom comes from Marble Hall. We? So I grew up in a family. I wouldn't say I, I grew up in a bad family. Mm. You understand? But my my situation was not to the standard of the school that I went to. Mm. It was below, a bit below. You understand? So I, I would say primary I went to Pitiru. Pitiru, uh, yeah. yeah, it's an African school. I was like one of those childs in the Kasi who go to like that type of school. Because you know what happens in Kasi and stuff. So my parents wanted me to get a better education. Mm. Um, I later went to Tom Nodia. Sure, and that's um, where we met, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. we yeah. met, yeah. <laughs> my it was yeah. actually my first friend, <laughs> Tom Nodia. Because yeah. I didn't know anyone, and then we met in science, and he was like, you know what? Just copy <laughs> my work. And then it was that simple. Uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's how that's I am. We you know me like, from oh, there. Really from yeah, there. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So I went to the, I went to Tomnidia, Tomnidia, Ish. that's when I saw life got rough, eh? Nah. Yeah, life got rough, I couldn't afford a lot of things, you know, um, just a mere simple, I remember there was this one tick he was looking for, uh. an MX, MX, that an MX era, and that, it was popping that time, the MX like era, the, the Rosh, Nike Rosh, oh, I remember that, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So almost every kid had that shoe. I wanted it. Like I was bugging my mom. You uh. understand? I was like great. Was it great eight or great nine? Almost everyone in our class had it that casual and now they have vans there. It was around grade nine, some of that. Yeah, yeah, and I had vans there. I was like, ah, let me just chill a bit. But I used to bother my mom. Because while you're a kid, you don't understand certain fundamentals of why can't they you, you can see that money is coming in mm. but you don't understand that well, certain things certain things they can't afford. Mm. You understand? So, it got to a point where I go to, my mom bought me the shoe, sharp, after I got the shoe, I'm like, this thing is just a shoe. It's just a shoe, oh yeah. yeah. then I got, I, I started, like, like, being on my phone a lot. Mm. Being on my phone a lot. Me being on my phone a lot, I started, like, YouTube. Sure. Not, like, me studying YouTube, but, uh, like, that's when... You started researching on not, YouTube. Not researching, I was just, uh. like, watching videos. You know those DIY videos, mm. oh, your yeah, hack yeah, videos, yeah. where people, yeah, where people will just, like, take a tea bag, what, 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 what turn into something. Oh, yeah. I used to, I used to like that kind those of videos. Those five-minute crafts. Yeah. Sure. You know them. So, it got to a point where, now, you know YouTube chows data. Oh, yeah. So now my mom was bugging me, Ejo, hey, you're chowing that. You always mm. airtime, asking money for airtime. So you, the pocket money that I got was was that I would save that money to buy that, just to watch that, mm. right? Sharp. It even got to a point where I felt that I can't... I, I, I love YouTube. I, so. I still love it now, even now, but I don't watch those videos anymore because they're not productive. Mm. I, I, I started chowing my taxi money. Not chowing, like chowing, uh. saving my taxi money. Imagine where I live, where I live and school is a bit far. It's like, I don't know how many kilometers, but it's a 10 minutes drive, right? Sure, sure. But it would take me one hour to walk home. Mm. So I'll take that taxi money, save it. I'll save it just so I can buy data. Just for that. Uh, just for that, Angie. 
but i'm grateful for that because mm. i think that was part of where my journey started to become mm. to brew me to where i am mm. you understand started taking that money i started seeing um what's this that's when i got you know paypal mm, I know oh yeah know. so i started seeing there was this app called app nana app nana app nana yeah it's like you watch a video that's how i got it's called app nana you watch a video mm. video you get paid like one dollar for like five videos and what like that mm, mm, mm. started watching those videos buying that just so that's like that was how I, was, I was i saw it as an opportunity to make money that app nana thing i forgot to mention this guy is actually um a hustler from the <laughs> beginning Remember, yeah, you must yeah, tell them you yeah. also start selling stuff uh, yeah like, i'm gonna this, go to that this boy's a hustler yeah man. and then i went to I went to App Nana. App Nana I made like my first fifteen dollars. Uh. Fifteen dollars was two hundred. That was that was big money. Yeah, that, at the time. Yeah. yeah, but it would take me like a week of watching video. Even it was a point where even when I went into like to the bathroom, I'd play that video. I'd bath. Uh. I'll just skip, skip, skip. While uh. I'm bathing, I'll just press skip because if you don't press next, you don't mm. get paid. Oh yeah. Shop App Nana. After the App Nana era, there was this time where now I wanted to get into hacking. Mm. Wait, really? Did App Nana pay you? Or yeah, it scam? did. Like, I I created like a PayPal account. Mm. They paid me fifteen dollars, but PayPal you can't withdraw like fifteen dollars. Sure. So I always kept that money. They kept on trying to build it, build it, build it. My first App Nana withdrawal was like forty something dollars. Hey, so that was like six hundred. Hey, a lot of views, it, It's like three months worth of work. You understand? Hey. So th- so that's how that's how it happened. Shop. I saw an opportunity at school. Mm. Okay, you know, at school for me, with my pocket money, you only buy one thing from the tech shop. It's sure. it's either you if today it's hot mm. and you're hungry, you choose. Do I buy coke or do I buy pie? Or do you buy pie? Yeah. So it got to a point where I saw an opportunity. I started go uh, started selling sweets. Mm. You know this. Um, they used to call me hey, Mr. Hashtag. Hey, Mr. Hashtag, hello. Yeah, yeah. I had I had sweet. sweets, pin pop. Mm. Shout out to pin pop, eh? Hey. Uh, <laughs> <not sponsoring>, uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> yeah, shout out to pin pop. Um, I started selling your sneakers. You know those three? They used to be three times. I don't know how much they are now. Uh. I started selling them. I used to, you, I, I used to go. Can you give me that bag? Can you give me that bag? Where did you get the packets? At uh, Mama Sweets. Oh, Mama Sweets. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got. I got I used to have this huge sports bag. My mom thought I was doing sports. <laughs> hey mom, I'm sorry I was into sports, I was selling, I was hustling. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, this one. Yeah, I used to carry around a bag like this. Everywhere I go. This is where I used to put like my not like this exact bag, but a big bag like this. Imagine you have your school bag. Yeah, that meant uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um I used to carry my school bag. Mm. Books were heavy. I used to carry EGD bag, you know, that EGD yeah, bag. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And I used to carry another sports bag, whatever. Wait, wait. Do they see from you? Just yeah, 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 yeah. Like Something this, like yeah. this. Yeah. I used to have the it was a purple bag, but I eventually it got confiscated at school because oh, yeah. they saw it. Nah, this boy's was always. It, and was it the time when the police? Oh yeah, came? the police came. Oh, the police yeah, came. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. The so I started machine. selling oh. sweets. I started selling hashtag hellos, and then I expanded and I started selling your licorice. Mm. And then from there, I started selling cut out. Hey guys, don't 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 don't. What 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 do they call that word? Don't let's can't like don't don't bash me. Oh yeah. I used to buy a cut out for eight rand and I'd sell it for twenty five. Yeah, matters business. At the end of the day, you want profit. Okay? Yeah, and then I'd sell. I'd I'd buy like ten. Mm. I'd buy like ten for like eighty, and I'd come back with two fifty. In a day, imagine I'd only have ten. It even got to a point where I had twenty, mm. and they would still sell out. So because I sell them for 20, for twenty five. Mm. I first started at twenty. Once I saw the market was growing, I said twenty five. Started selling, and then that's when I bumped into forex trading. Mm. Right, I was on. Who introduced you for to forex? Mainly, I'd say my brothers were doing it, mm. but because my uh, my brothers were not home, they were at varsity. Mm. It wasn't that thing. I'd only see them when they come back, and you know. Once you're a student, you don't come back home frequently. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so so no one else in school introduced you to forex. It was it was your brothers, no? No, they were doing it, but I didn't know what exactly it was. Oh. You understand? Um, how I got into it was that I'd see, you know, this YouTube ads that always pop up. Sure. Once once you start watching videos that make money, yeah, then they, they pop they up. They start recommending this guy, these types of ads, um, yeah. Q Banks. Q 
few bangs. Yeah. I mean, now I still follow him. That guy popped up on my ad. He would pop up or just skip. I used to skip. I used mm-hmm. to skip. But this time he asked a question Are you going to watch my video? Are you going to stay poor? Or something like that. Damn, so it caught your attention. It caught my attention. Oh, yeah. I got. I, I watched that video. I followed his um, YouTube channel. That guy was having. There was a time he was vying with the 9 11. Mm. Yeah. And okay. then. I started researching more about this forex thing. What's forex? What is what is it? Stuff mm. like that. Oh, and then shout out to if you know Starboy. 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 Shane. 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 Yeah, shout out to yeah, Starboy. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. sure who that is, but yeah, I'm sure he was in our school. school. Oh, school. Shane. Yeah, yeah. I remember him now. Yeah, yeah. shout he, out to he Shane. He left. He left um, he, back in grade eleven. Was in grade ten or grade eleven? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I remember. He yeah, left. shout out to he that guy. To when I was before. selling, uh. that guy. That guy, remember, I had a PayPal account. Sure. That guy was already doing forex, but he didn't like it. Wasn't that thing that he would tell you he's doing forex? Mm. So, but he would, eh? but he would see that this guy, like, I'm always on this my phone and stuff. Sure. There was a point where I sold him a quarter via PayPal money. Uh. Like he would send me like two dollars, mm. but by the time my quarter was like twenty rand, he would send me two dollars, two dollars or like thirty rand into my PayPal because I already had a PayPal account yeah. and my app Nana withdrawals were going into my paypal sure. he was doing it so he wasn't doing app none he was doing forex he was doing forex so he'd send me two dollars send me two dollars he would i'd give him the quarter um, fine jiggy jiggy i told this guy bro there's this thing called forex and I was like yeah, i'm doing it he taught me some few tricks mm-hmm. um i took one day worth of stock money because i was making around like 400 a day Wait, what, but then because for, for the people who are confused like, yeah? what is forex can you describe that for us I'm gonna describe what's forex. I'm still in my story. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, understand. Sure. So what happened was, uh, he was giving me two dollars and stuff, right? Mm. And then he'd give me bunny. I'd give him a bunny. He'd give me two dollars via PayPal. After that, um, now I'm gonna start her. After that, his he he he. I I told him there's this thing called forex. Mm. He said he's doing it. Uh, by that time, I had expanded my business, my school business. Mm. I had like young boys younger than me because I'd, hey, Mfana, if I'm rich, ah, but guys, hey, if you don't have aggression, so you're they not, were selling for you, yeah, and then I'd pay them. Mm. You understand? They, they'd sell for me, I'd, I'd only have the bunnies so that when the teachers come and search me, they don't take all my stock. I know mm. my stock is like who has my stock, who has my stock, sure. and I'd know the stock that you have at the end of the day. If it's not sold out, you have to give me like this type of money. Mm. So I was making around like. 400 a day wait so if the children didn't bring a certain amount of money on that day yeah you'd, you'd tell them or no one call out this amount you owe me this amount no you'd explain i'm the employer now uh. i'm the employer you'd explain uh today this this and this and this is left mm. out out record out note i gave him 10 chips mm. 10 chips meaning it's 50 rand sure. right and i gave him this and this and this mm. i'd give him like stu- uh, stock worth 200 mm because i can't give you more than 200 what if you use it or something like that sure. sharp would explain and give me my money so by that time i was making 400 she was like i i told i didn't know what a broker was your mm-hmm. thing but i would know like what forex operates like this told shane explained it to him which said, i want to get into this thing he was doing it by that time but he mm-hmm. didn't tell me up until i went to him i was like brah how do you have paypal how do you make your PayPal money? Yeah. And then told me how I do Forex and things like that. He taught me a few tricks. I took like that 400 for that day, mm. deposited in, t- I wasn't 18 by that time. I had a, I had a, my brother. Mm. Did you use his ID? Yeah, and, oh. and stuff. Because I couldn't like, I, because every time I wanted to tell him I wanted to do Forex and stuff, mm. he was like telling me, wait till you're 18 sure. and what, what. And I was impatient, bro. Yeah, I wanted money. You wanted the money right yeah. now. I thought. So I what happened was, after that, Shane taught me. I took 400. First day, I took like 400 to like 3 point something. First day? First day in my life. Because I wasn't trading it like me. Like mm. Shane analyzed. He was oh, doing it for some he was time. Doing it for you. Yeah, and then he taught me like that. But I think that was beginner's luck. Mm. And then after. Oh, that Friday. It was a Friday that was fundamentals. We were trading fundamentals. Fundamentals is basically like your news releases. So. If a president says something good or bad, it controls the current. It has momentum. Mm. Sharp. It was NFP. It was the first Friday mm. of the month. Blew that 3K. Yeah. I don't know what to do with yeah. myself. You blew it same time. I don't know what to do with myself. Actually, mm. actually, I was in profit. 
but with nfp it can go up and reject now i under, i have a deeper understanding of what happened that time mm. but then because since i was a beginner i didn't know so i'm sure it was depressing or traumatizing man it was bro 3k hey, bro imagine 10, 3K, man. bro that's like my month's worth of money when while i was selling and i made it Ooh. in one day so it, no, came, I know, I it came a point where police came to a school mm unexpectedly and i had I'll, that was like when i knew this was my biggest week mm. for me to make money came to a school searched classes i hear these two young boys saying hey bro they took our stock they took our stock mm. yes some um, and i was like hey are they gonna come to a class and then one thing i still hate till today i was in class with naughty people so it was compulsory for them to start at our class. Yeah, our class was wild, by the way. We had drug dealers. Mm. We had alcoholics. Yo, our class. Oh, we had, the F uh, class. Yes. If you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. But shout out to that class, man. Yeah, that yeah. class actually made us who we are today, yeah. man. Alcoholics. Alcohol. Yeah. They came to school. They found out God wants in people's bags. Bruh. Wines in school bottles. School bottles. Lighters. Uh, weed. Weed. <laughs> Condoms inside bread. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, bro. Hey. Yeah, that is why bankies, you don't beat bank inside b- sandwich. In some inside you know, cases. Yeah. So, yeah, they got to our class, they found my bag, they took my bag, took me to the office. Luckily, we had a cool principal. I won't mm. ma- mention his name, sure. but if they know, they know. That guy didn't call our parents, but he took my stock. I told him, hey, bro, pay me, I don't have money. I'm trying to hustle and stuff like that. They're like, no, it's fine. I'm not going to call your parents, but I'm keeping the stock. Mm. Fine, that left. Now it's would shame. What do you think they did with the stock? I think they ate it. No. I think they ate Because the quarters, the quarters were done. Mm. It was only your sweets, your... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think they ate those sweets or something, or they threw them away, but mm. nah, I don't think so. So what happened was, now they took the stock. Sure. I don't have more money because mm. remember i blew an account i had to try and make some loans hey bra give me 50 give me 50 give me 50 sure. to buy stock bought stock and hustled again up to the game mm. but one thing I, that taught me from that situation was that as long as you are hustling problems are gonna come Facts. you understand mm. yeah you have to be ready for them at any time and you have to be able to pick yourself up to get back to where you left off Facts. you understand Facts. fine shane started teaching me here and there and then that's when i now that's when i was addicted to forex now mm. in class i remember how many times my, how many times was my phone confiscated in class there was even a point where you were like hey timothy borrow me your phone <laughs> at that time i was like yeah. i didn't understand what he was doing but he yeah. was like borrow me your phone yeah your phone. oh yeah yeah Remember yeah, that? yeah and you showed me that b is it bs a bts something like yeah. that yeah btc bitcoin yeah. bitcoin yeah so then I, yeah. I was like what is this guy doing yeah so i started being deep on forex um i started researching in class i wasn't listening in class because i knew like my vision was greater mm. you understand so what i did was hey me i didn't do my homeworks sure i didn't listen in cl- i would listen in class i'd have um i used to have this is it pencil would you call it a pencil case yeah i used to have a pencil case and i'd have my phone um covered uh, yeah. covered landscape i'd put it landscape and i'd analyze in class they would teach what what me homework they even to a point where teachers even said like ah, you uh, you have no future and stuff. yeah i remember fine. can't you know you was doing bigger things mm, yeah i did that traded blue traded blue and then i, I loved fundamentals that's when fundamentals were like nice mm. i'd always have a time schedule 11 o'clock either i'm in class or what what i'd say sir can i please go to the bathroom act like as if i'm pressed mm. just so i can go to the bathroom be in the bathroom close the door watch my phone open up my charts if it's 11 o'clock i'd wait like five minutes i'd see there was this other strategy where we had like um what do you call your buy stops and sell stops yeah. meaning it's like if the market goes up you go with it if it goes down you go with it i oh, used yeah. to have these two lines mm. and then i'd come in class smiling mm. and stuff then i know i made money and then I, that's when i started to teach myself how to withdraw 
Uh, I remember my first withdrawal was not much. Mm. It was like $35 plus the money I was making from Apple. Was Nana. this through PayPal or did it come directly to your account? It went directly to, 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 to PayPal because by that time I was still using, even now I'm still using it. Mm. It's a broker called IC Markets. I'll give him the link and then he'll just put it in the description. Oh, yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. Link is in the yeah. Um, I used that broker so they paid me via PayPal. Mm. So when it comes to PayPal, I have, it has to go to my brother first mm. and then my brother has to send it to me. Sure. So I didn't tell my brother I was waiting for a withdrawal because I withdrew. I asked for his card details mm. but he thought like, ah, this one mm. is crazy. Just, yeah. Fine. Money got in, I asked, he told, he asked me, um, money that got in, is it yours or is it mine? It's like, mm. it's mine. And then he sent me the money. And then that's when my situation started getting better and better and better and better. Long story short, my high school career, me, um, I, I, I opened my own Forex institution, mm. which now I recently closed because I don't have, I feel like I've done enough. Mm. You know, I feel like it's time where I focus on myself. The next step. Yeah, it's the next, I think it's the next step that comes with life. Sure. So it's part it, of the journey. Yeah, I did. I did that. Mm. That's my story of how I got into forex trading okay. and how my life. So explain to the people what forex is. What forex is? Because I'm is. sure some are confused as to what is forex. Forex is basically you. How do I put it in a simple term? It's you saying a currency is gonna go up or down. Mm. Um, it's different from stocks. Stocks you have to buy an actual stock. Mm. For instance, let's say, like my fellow brand. I see my fellow brand is like, hundred. Hundred thousand mm. to buy to own one share to own one share. So if my stock goes fifty rand up mm. and it's at one fifty, meaning if you bought not fifty rand up fifty thousand, that means you made a profit of fifty thousand. Mm. But stocks uh, stocks are slower. Mm. Forex is you not betting mm. because we don't use the word betting. It's not gambling. If you know your probabilities and your analysis and stuff like that, you're mm. good. So what happened with that was Forex is you basically saying this currency is going to go up so it's or it's going to weaken. Yeah, it's like you go to America. Mm. You're now from South Africa. Sure. You buy the dollar at 15 rand. Mm. But then when you come back, you find out the dollar is at 16 rand. 16 rand. Increase. When you, when you exchange the money back, mm. you get the six, the, the six. Let's say you bought $10 when going to America. Mm. You bought them for 150 but when you come back, you find out like one dollar is twenty rand. You're gonna get back your one fifty, and you didn't spend anything that side. Mm. You give them the ten dollars. You're gonna get your twenty rand back, not your twenty rand back. How do I make it? You go to America sure. with ten dollars. Ten dollars. You yeah. bought them for one fifty. Mm. When you come back to South Africa, you want South African money, right? Mm -hmm. When you come, and then the exchange rate is at twenty rand. Sure. Meaning that if you went there with ten dollars mm. and you come back with ten dollars and the exchange rent is went went up to twenty rands, mm. that means you made a profit of fifty rands mm. apart from your one fifty that you invested. Sure. That's how it is. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's basically. I think that that's simple. Yeah, I, th I feel like simple. I feel like I feel like my knowledge now. I don't even pay more detail into those basics. Into the basics, no? I have like deep. I'm um, yeah. So you're that's more advanced. The, that's that's why I feel like. I'm gonna confuse. That's why I feel like I'm oh, confusing you're confused. you. No, yeah. no, I, get, I get what you mean. I yeah. get what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So then, yeah, basically, I get what you mean. Yeah. You understand? We un we heard you from your forex. We heard you from school. So now on to the next one. Yeah? YouTube. What about YouTube? If if some of y'all don't know, he has a YouTube channel. Yeah. What uh, made you decide? You know what? I'm gonna teach people on my YouTube channel. Cause it's what is your YouTube channel about? Yeah. Just tell them what it's about. Um, the reason why I wanted to do YouTube first, or mm. what my what's my YouTube channel about first? What is it? What, what is it about? Oh, well, my YouTube channel is about forex content, mm. trying to motivate the young ones, and not only the young ones but the older ones. Sure. By being independent. Mm -hmm. Um, tips, tricks, things that took me a long time for me to learn, mm. but that can minimize the time that people can learn in a short period of as uh, short period of time sure yeah and then why did you do it why did you make your own i wanted to be different you wanted to be different eh? yeah because in sa i'm from south africa mm. shout out to south africa shout out sa that's what we are yeah um i'm giving out a lot of shout outs yeah, right. <laughs> giving a lot of shout -outs. but it's a country yeah yeah i'm from south africa and in south africa 
our traders this side once they make a certain I told you about my views. Oh, I yeah, told you, about, views, you see everything. Yeah, we're going <laughs> but, to take uh, you can see everything. Yeah, sure. yeah. But in SA, when you make money, the first thing you wanna buy is a car. Mm. You wanna, uh, you wanna live a lavish life. You wanna show people you're living a lavish life. Sure. And I feel like forex is not all about that. That's why I'm. Tr- I try. I made my own YouTube channel. Mm. I'm trying to make forex great again. I don't want to show people the lifestyle first. First, mm. I want to show people they need to put in the time, they need to work hard, their ass off, mm. and then the lifestyle will follow. That's it's right. the lo- it's the it's the simple law of is it physics or what life? Yeah, life, like life in general. You yeah. need to put in the work in order to enjoy. Yeah, you gotta enjoy yeah. what you're doing. So, on to that. Yes, sir. Now that we're talking about life, we're no more in Limpopo, Pretoria. How is it? How's Pretoria's lifestyle? How is it to you, a forex trader? How is Pretoria to you? Ash. How is it treating you? you? <laughs> this is not our environment. We're getting used to it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Pretoria is crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm grateful I took that step that I want to move to this side mm. to change my environment. Nah. There's a saying that goes like a shark, you can put it in a small bowl, mm. it will not outgrow that bowl, even though it has a potential to outgrow that bowl. Mm. But if you put it in the ocean, it will grow bigger than what you expected it to grow. Fact. You understand? So mm. I felt like a PLK or Polokwan 015 yeah. was a small environment for me where I can grow and get a certain type of resources. Mm. You understand? So, yeah. So you get you guess that you can get what you. I can for grow here. bigger here mm. than when I was in. I was there because there I was also getting comfortable. Mm. Not saying that I don't have competition that side, mm. but I feel like if I come this side, I'm gonna be exposed to a lot of competition. Mm. And if you understand, competition is not about saying you wanna be the best or anything. Sure. Competition is what grows you. What grows? You. If you wanna be at the top, you'll know. You'll understand that. Mm. I have to compete to be at the top. You have to be at the top of your game. So that's that's how I'd say I left PLK to come this side. Mm. For me to grow and for me to 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 how do I put it? That side I was exposed to a big circle. Mm. You understand? And being exposed to such a big circle, you don't know who's real, who's not real. Right. You understand? Right, yeah. So one 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 of the reasons why I also moved this side was because this side there's a small circle. Mm. You understand? I can build a small circle, and a smaller circle is stronger than a big circle. Mm. You understand? That's true. That's yeah. True. So that's why I wanted to come this side and the life, hey. The lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, not about the life, but yeah. Mm. You understand what I mean? I know. Yeah. So then, do you, do you still contact your friends that are back back at home? Yeah, I do contact them. Mm. I do con- I keep in touch with them. I do keep in contact with them. But mm. now, I came this side to focus on myself. Sure. To grow myself as a, as an individual. Mm. I had to take the leap of faith and come this side so yeah. I can grow myself as an individual. Mm. And yeah, I would say, how long have I been here? A few months, now. Yeah, two months or three. No, one month. I think it's one, one month. month. One month or one month and a few weeks. Cause I was here. In, yeah, I don't want to say when I was here, but yeah. Yeah, but no, you're actually growing, actually. Yeah. And you know what's weird? Yeah. I on your posts, I saw you with the boys RSA. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you about that. Uh, How oh. did you meet the boys RSA? Oh, eh. that's a good question. Eh. Hey, uh, how do I put it? Oh, how I met them. Mm. Basically, how I met the boys artist A, I called them to PLK. Mm. Um, there was an event I was hosting with a few friends of mine. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Teto, shout out to Rory, sure. to my business partners. We created an event called Sunset Jive. Mm. Oh, um, that was your event? Yeah, we were, we were only we were three people. Oh, we're equal, 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 equal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co hosts. Yeah. Sure. We were three, we created an event. Mm. I was part of the marketing type of things mm. and they had like rory has his own way of dealing with things he has his own way mm. tattoo has his own way of dealing with things so yours was strictly marketing not strictly marketing but mm. that's where i felt like i have more advantage because i understand mostly human psychology oh. because i was selling not basically oh, yeah. from selling but i come from a family where um like Distribution is something we deal with so a lot. So they socialize a lot. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. So I, underst- I understood that 
um, for me to create a different type of event, I don't need to bring uh, any artist like how many hosts mm. bring any artist. I wanted to create a, so- a type of social event mm. where which I can bring your big people. Sure. You can see them, you can talk to them, you can ask them for advice, whatever, mm. and stuff like that. So um, I saw by that time that the guys are growing and they are still growing. They're growing yeah, big. They're still and, growing, yo, yeah. and they're killing it in YouTube. Yeah. Especially and shout out to them, man. Eh. Shout out to the boys. Shout Reggie out to Reggie. Yeah. Shout out to Owetu, Ntando, Luyanda, and Tlax, eh. So yeah, I understood. Yeah, I texted Reggie. Me and Reggie used to communicate. Wait, how did you contact them through IG? Or yeah, through IG. You DM them. Yeah, and they replied. Bro, like, what? What do you think those guys are for? Uh, they're cool gents, actually. You understand? Sure. Yeah, they're cool gents. Um, I texted Reggie. Mm. I texted Reggie. I was like, hey yo, I want you to pull up to PLK. Mm. I was like, how much do you charge? Told me he charges us my amount. Okay, agreed. Okay, sent them the money. Send them the money. Everything was dead. Mm. And then the first time they came, I actually saw them live. Was when they came to the event. To the event. Yeah. So before I, that, prior to that, you didn't see meet, them personally. Yeah, I didn't see them personally. Oh, so okay. I invited them to the event. Then we booked them places and everything. Mm. But there was a whole lot of drama that happened before. Before. Before the event. Mm. You understand? So I couldn't actually. I was restricted to such uh, certain things. There were mm. certain allegations against me. Iman. You know these allegations. I won't say oh. it's allegations. Yeah, there were certain allegations. Uh. So I had to step aside from mm. from the team, sure. and I had to to just tell the boys, not the boys RSA, but like my boys, yeah, yeah, true, yeah, yeah. that hey, yo, I'm stepping aside. These allegations are gonna derail our thing because it was a public type of thing in PLK. Yeah. You remember the media statement yeah, and I stuff, like that. Sure. but. Those but it's alleg- sorted now, no? Yeah, sorted. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, I stepped away from the from the crew. Mm. I let those two boys uh, work and stuff. They came to the event and then met the boys. We had good vibes. Those guys are rock stars. They rock, man. Star. They rock stars. They brought the vibe. The place was packed. Sure, and I, I, can, I, I can imagine. But the, the heartbreaking part was that I didn't attend the event as a host. Oh, I attended the event as an event, uh, just like you when as you a, buy it. As a, as yeah, a visitor, yeah, basically. yeah. But I knew that since I had done planning before those, before everything, we done planning and stuff. Mm. It was just that thing. Okay, now let me step away. Let the boys operate. I just yeah. attended the event. I attended the event mm. just because it would have broken my heart to me stay at home and just watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I just bought a ticket, went to the event. Mm. It was a good vibe. I was proud I did that, but I wanted to like also be wearing the crew shirt. Sure. You understand? But it's life. But you then you were with such. the boys, most. Yeah, I met them at the event because mm. I had like a VVIP ticket. Sure. One one thing that broke my heart was that mm. I hosted. I, I we planned the things before the allegations and before I stepped away, but I had to buy a ticket. But a you VVIP. still had to pay, even yeah. though you had. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. Even after I stopped. stepped away, remember oh, you yeah, stepped yeah. away and stuff like that. So yeah, and then yeah, I met the boys. Had a good, a great weekend. Mm. And yeah, that's how I met the boys. Oh okay. Mm. So do you still contact them even? To yeah, I was with them a few weeks back. Mm. Yeah, I was with them a few weeks back, and yeah, we chilled. We had a great time. Yeah. We had a great time. Um, shout out to Fancy Material Fancy Yellow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Fancy. yeah. It was his birthday. Uh, and then we went to to some place we went there uh, we met him and the guys with the boys with him mm. that was my first time meeting meeting Clax. oh Clax from yeah, the boys yeah yeah, yeah. He, uh, he didn't come to plk because i think he had some other commitments mm. but yeah met him we had a good time and yeah that's how i met that's how everything went went to fences birthday met the boys mm. it was a good time and I feel like that type of thing should be done like more frequently. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I know that's dope, man. You should actually contact them. One day we must make a podcast with them. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try to get a contact of yeah. them. Yeah, you mustn't forget. So yeah, boys are the same. Meeting the boys are the same. Being in PTA, different lifestyle, different story. Yeah. What do you? What would you say to the person looking at the screen who's still a come up, a young follow, a young follow? Who wants who doesn't know anything? What would you tell that follow? Man. Be yourself. Nah. First thing, be yourself. 
don't forget your roots your roots yeah your roots are important because a tree with weak roots if you forget your roots that means like you are a tree that you are chopping off your roots you sure. can't stand nah. it's impossible for you to stand up straight if you're if it's if you're a tree and they chop off your roots it's hard for you to grow yeah. so don't forget your they roots get pushed over easily. yeah don't forget your roots mm. um have a small circle being a ha- having a big circle you get betrayed a lot yeah. you, you you do and having a great heart sometimes guys be have a have a have a bad heart mm. it's, it's for the best of you put yourself first and don't rush take it one step at a time and take it one step at a time and involve god in everything that you do yeah. and you shall perish man you shall you shall mm. grow amen to that man yeah. amen to that so would you like to would you like to tell the people anything that's coming up what do you see yourself in 5 years any upcoming events any upcoming trading yeah courses? and there's a big event we're going to create but i feel like it's not ready for me to to to, to tell it to the people now yeah. yeah um how do i put it just go to my youtube channel mm. that's where you can learn a lot of things about trading in particular i don't know lo- i no longer teach but if you come to me in a sincere way i can be able to teach you for free sure and we, because vela vela we're all trying to make it we're, try, we're all trying to make it right. right so um i don't have instagram mm. You don't have your IG anymore? No, I don't have Instagram. Fuck Instagram. Sorry Instagram. Eh. But for for that reason it's because it comes to a point where I said I'm focusing on myself. Oh, your personal self. Exactly. And I'm still trying to, to you, I'm right? still trying to rediscover myself. Sure. And for me to rediscover myself, it's a it's a journey that doesn't want me to have interference. Yeah. It's um not saying that people must go off Instagram. Mm. I'm I disabled my account. But I'm gonna be back. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what I'm saying is that I got off Insta because of social pressure, oh. and it's easy for you to get influenced. If mm. you if you see ten people, this is where the power of influence comes. I read a lot of books, mm. so this is where the power of influence comes. If you're always seeing people doing drugs on your IG, doing what what and stuff, that thing can rub off to you, no. and you can do it not your. Um, not realizing that you're doing it mm. you understand so it influences you to do yeah that. but most people that i follow are successful mm. but i feel like at a point i need to sacrifice such things focus on myself and my grind my family my friends and just enjoy life of instagram not no one knowing how what i'm doing and stuff like that sure. but yeah so i'm sure by the time you get back to instagram you'll be a better person yeah well yeah knowing yourself better. yeah no yeah. Problem, man. Anyways, would you like to end off by saying anything? What I'd like to say is that guys, have fun, enjoy life, chop life, yeah. make your money, involve God in everything. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Are we? And make sure whenever you see me, you give me something that's orange. Nah. Yeah, orange. I'm a huge fan of orange. Oh yeah, I can even see yeah. even your own logo yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, orange board. But yeah, that's one thing I'd like to say is my channel's gonna grow. Um, I haven't been consistent, but I'm, I promise to be consistent. Sure. I now have an editor. Now you have an editor. Shout out to Kia. Yeah. Hey. Um, who who do I like to say shout out to? Shout out to Rex Mami, uh, shout out to Chamizi, shout out to Chronic. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I'm doing too much shout out. Shout out to Kia, my editor, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the here, like, yeah, yeah, I see you. yeah that's, that's my I'm, crew. Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself changing the world, man. Changing the world. Yeah, I see myself changing the world. Living my own life mm. at my own pace. Maybe a young follow. And young follow me, Anna. Yeah, I wanna it's have. Just not too early. Uh, <laughs> if if I one thing I realized, people uh, who make not not to disrespect people who made ki- children or kids at a young age, mm. I feel like if you make a kid, you must be able to maintain. A kid is expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. Time and money. And you don't know how long you're gonna be here for. Fact. What if now, God forbid? Mm. What if now you go here? 
once you're going downstairs you faint we say we faint country you did so i wanna leave a, a little piece of myself on mm. earth to continue the legacy away yeah his name is gonna be oranya oranya yeah because of the color yeah ah, oranya yeah yeah hey you like orange man yeah too much man do you know why i like orange mm. if you look it's not only orange mm. it's orange has a lot of meaning um do you know a lion a lion yeah yeah i know a lion. what's a lion a lion is the king of the jungle the king of the jungle yeah what color is the art as a lion isn't it brown golden brown did you dig dig, in, dig inside what orange is like the brown brown mm. comes from orange sure you understand mm. it's a mild color man it's a happy color i don't want to go for colors like black mm. black is good it's a good color i won't say but orange has a specific meaning at my my family clan that's what i'm saying don't forget your roots mm. My family clan is Badao. Badao. Yeah, but like my but my father's surname changed. Mm. It's Badao. Badao in it's a it's a vendor surname. What but, does it mean? Uh, Badao it's like lions. Oh, lions. You understand? Uh. So whenever I put on orange, I remember the people who came before me, and the ones that are gonna come after me. Mm. You understand? That's mm. how that's how deep it is. Yeah, no, that's. You understand? So that's why I like orange as much. Mm. It's a color of uh, a lion telling, um, unleashing the beast. Mm. It's a it's a caution of what's about to come. Sure. It's a caution of who I'm about to become. Mm. So yeah, that's why I love orange. I know, and uh, that's actually a good thing. And mm. on that note, yeah, I would like to end off with the podcast. Thank yeah, you guys but shout out, man. The, shout what you're out, doing man. is big. Oh, yeah. It's gonna become bigger than this. Ah, it's bigger uh, than the country. It's not bigger than the country, bro. No. You, you you believing in yourself. Bigger than the world. Uh, not bigger than the world. Oh, no. we're not fighting now. We're not fighting. Bigger than what? The universe. Bro. Ish, the universe. Yeah, uh, bro. Think like far. Bro, bro. It's bigger think than like the, it's far. bigger than what's the biggest planet? Jupiter. Yeah, it's Jupiter. Yeah. Bigger than Jupiter. Bigger than the sun. Yeah. You understand? Oh, yeah. You continue what you're doing, mm. man. You're going far. Con- being being how honest you are mm. and the person you are, man. You're I going know, far. Man. Keep doing what uh, you're doing. Yeah. Keep grinding, mm. man. Yeah. Keep it's it's gonna it's gonna make sense in the end. Even now, you might have st- I might have stress here and there. It's not easy. Not and one hard. thing, one thing, one thing I wanna also put. Mm. Forgive me for t- for speaking a lot. That's okay. It okay. being at the top is hard. Yeah. Not saying I'm at the top. But I know being at the top is hard. So you have to fight and grind and do everything to stay at the top. And it's easier to, f- to, f- to fall off than how you build up. Yeah. You can build for 10 years and fall off in one minute. You understand? So yeah. that's why I'm saying that be honest to yourself. Yeah. It's hard being at the top. Keep pushing. It's all going to make sense. Um, you know the vision you have for yourself. Right. I'm sure if you asked for people, if you asked people about their opinions about your podcast or anything, mm-hmm. you'd have gotten a lot of bad requ- uh, things. Not saying that people, because what you see is not what other people see. That's true. The vision comes from a higher place. Ish. You understand? Comes from a higher place. The vision comes from a higher place. What mm-hmm. you're doing comes from a higher place. And don't let someone who comes from a lower place, not saying that people come from a lower place, but don't let someone who's who, who's not doing anything tell you something yeah. you understand sure. even people who are bigger than you mm. they're still gonna tell you keep pushing and stuff some are gonna hate right but you know man you keep grinding energy. yeah um, be true to yourself pray man yeah. Yeah, pray man yeah, you don't know how many powerful. you don't yeah. know how many people you're fighting silent battles with yeah. the honest thing you have to do is just be true to yourself man Mm, shut up. Thank you for having me, guys. Subscribe to Deep Waters Podcast. Thank you.